Here it is. What do you think? Wow. That bad, huh? Not at all. I'm not used to seeing you without the bulky pauldrons and everything. <laughs> Feels good not to carry all that weight around, honestly. So I take it we should tell Hestler she did a good job then? Absolutely. I almost don't want to leave now. Hold on. You're leaving? Yeah, I probably should have said something sooner, but we've been making good progress on the castle, and... You're having second thoughts, aren't you? No, Arden, I'm not having second thoughts. But I do have to leave for a while to deal with other business, and... I'm starting to see some difficulties in trying to be... with you. There are a lot of things that are going to make this... Complicated. Right. Duh, you're... Right. Sorry. Things have been going so well the last few days, I keep... Expecting the other shoe to drop, you know? I was... Kind of prepared for the worst. Well, I hate to be the other shoe, but... Duty calls. Can I ask what that duty is? Part of it is I need to catch up with Z-Test, but the rest... I'm a little afraid to tell you, honestly. I trust you, Arvin. But I'm not sure I trust you knowing what I do and for whom. Nor with... who I used to be. I promise there is nothing you could possibly tell me that would scare me off. I want that to be true more than you could ever know. Right. I won't keep you from your work, then. Just be careful out there, okay? Arden, I... I didn't mean to... No, you... Sorry. I'm being... unfair, and... I can't help but think back to when Ancona and I were together. I'm, I'm trying my best not to, but... I don't know, sometimes you sound like him and... Sometimes I start to say things or do things and I have to stop and think, No, don't do that. That's something he would do. And you deserve so much better than that. Oh. So... Yeah. I'm afraid to. I'm afraid I'm gonna screw this up in spectacular fashion one way or another, but... I don't ever want to make you feel guilty or like... Like I don't care or like you have to be careful around me. I guess we both have some things to sort out. If... If you don't want to tell me yet, I won't make you. I want to make this work. You're... Fascinating. More than that. I just don't want to screw this up. Neither here. We're both still learning. We'll figure this out. Together. Together? Yes. <laughs> Gods, if I could let myself be happy about that for more than five minutes. I know that feeling. If you ever need someone to just shut up and listen for a while, well, that's kind of my thing. Thank you for the offer, but I don't want to take up any more of your time than- You're not a burden, Arden. I've been there. It's alright. My other duties can wait a few minutes while I listen to you. I may be too much of a chicken shit to tell you about myself, but I will always make time to listen, if I'm able. You... <laughs> I think I need to go stick my head in a book for a while. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. I am about to leave you without someone watching your back for several days. Well, I'm still waiting on a visit from Dominique any day now. I'm not gonna head into the rift without her and I can certainly watch my own back until then. Besides, I think I'm starting to warm up to the dogs, weirdly enough. Well, in that case, maybe I'll wait for her. We can all head out together. Alright. Come on. 
Let's go have a chat with Hessler, shall we? Maybe get you fit for something a bit more... I like my armor just fine, even as old as it is. At least let her fix up the holes in it. And don't think I can't see them. You are too much, my lord. Ah, Dominique. I've been expecting you. That would be Lady Dominique to you, my lord. Unless you're about to retake the Redwater territory. Wouldn't dream of it, Lady Dominique. So I assume I know the answer already, but what brings you all the way out here? A little bird told me Castle Volcahar was under new management. Figured I'd come make my presence known. As an ally or a rival? Potential ally. Shall we take this conversation somewhere more private? I would much prefer speaking somewhere that my court can keep an eye on me. Just because I trust you doesn't mean anyone else here does. Fair enough. I'm sure they've all heard of me at least, though only as Vulpin's underling. Well, you're Lady Dominique now. An ally of Clan Volcahar, assuming you came here with some kind of proposal. Straight to business, then? I'm a busy man, Lady Gold. This castle isn't going to repair itself. Fair enough. Obviously, the two of us have a common interest in the well-being of your shadow. Dare I ask where he is right at the moment? Indisposed? Well, beyond him, Castle Vogelhar has resources that I need, and I have a network that you might find useful. Resources? Coin, mostly. I'm sure you of all people can appreciate the kind of money and effort it takes to take a place from run-down hole in the ground to something approaching respectable. Obviously, I'm trying to keep out of the eyes of the Dawn Guard as well, but I'd like to make life for my little birds a bit less harrowing. I'll see what I can do. Personally, I have at least two projects that need funding, the other being Winterhold. I'll see what help I can lend, however. Very generous. You haven't heard what I can offer yet besides a few well-trained eyes and ears. I'm sure a man like you has plenty he'd like to discover and places he'd rather not be seen poking into. Fair. What else have you got? I'll see if I can make it worth your while. That depends on what you want, Lord Arden. Beg your pardon? Power reveals. Give somebody enough power to do what they want and they will do whatever they want. Some want to create. Others want to destroy. So what do you want to do? That is rather a difficult question. Would you like a list? <laughs> if you have one, I'd love to hear it. Right at the moment, I want to fix up Winterhold and this castle. I'd like to get my old team, or what's left of them anyway, out here from High Rock to help out with the former. I want to make peace with at least the Dawn Guard if they'll hear me out. I doubt the vigilance that are left would want anything to do with me, and frankly, the feeling is mutual. Ambitious. My, my, so that's what you meant. Figured I'd take that prophecy and twist it around on itself if I could. I'm reasonably confident they'll at least listen to me. Oh, I knew I liked you. It's too bad I'm not your style. What makes you think so? Someone on the inside? With any luck. But besides that, between myself and Ingrath... I have to admit we could most likely waltz in and sweep the place clean if we so chose. I'm a lot stronger than I used to be, much to my horror. I suspect getting out again wouldn't be an issue. I'm going to ignore your drastic underestimation of Fort Dongard's defenses and, for the sake of argument, assume you could do this. But after that, after you make your peace, what then? Honestly? I've not had much reason or motivation to think that far ahead these past few years. I've been taking things one day at a time for... <laughs> who knows how long. I suppose I'll figure it out if I don't die trying to get the Dawn Guard to hear me out. I plan to, at some point, ask Master Marethi for his list. <laughs> An immensely powerful vampire spell sword with a death wish. Under other circumstances, I'd say you are the most dangerous person in Tamriel right at the moment. I... don't have a death wish. Something changed, then, because you would have charged headfirst at a dragon the last time we spoke. I have actually charged headfirst at a dragon, but I'm also a fire mage and I'm used to my own spells blowing up in my face. But no, I don't have a death wish anymore. What do you mean under other circumstances? If you didn't have such a soft heart and an idealistic streak... 
I must say you're certainly a breath of fresh air around these parts. I've been called worse. I imagine so. I hope you last long enough to make a difference. So do I. Alright, you've heard what I want, at least for the moment. I want both of our clans to prosper without interference from the Dawn Guard, without inviting a war with the mortal world, and without this weird feeding competition thing that Master Morethi seems so concerned by. What do you want, Lady Dominique? I want to offer you an alliance, of course. The Volgahar and Redwater clans would agree not to tear each other to shreds and offer each other aid should we require it due to outside harassment. I'm sure we could draw up trade or boundary agreements if you like. Might be good to have on paper. You're being very generous, Lady Gold, but I still don't know what you want from me. Coin, certainly. Protection, it seems like. A friend in a powerful clan, of course. For the coin, I would expect information since you seem to have it in abundance. My opinions of you personally are largely informed by and bound to Ingrath, so shouldn't be up for discussion. I'm sure we have nothing to gain from fighting each other, personally or collectively. What else have you got? You're good at this. I'll make you better at it. Skyrim is about to turn itself inside out, and you and I have the ears of some of the most powerful players in this game. You know, I for once feel like you may be underestimating how right you are about that. If you think I have the potential of being the most dangerous person in Tamriel right now, you are sorely mistaken. Go on. Oh? You know something I don't, then. I know something that no mortal should ever know, and no amount of bribing will get me to say it. If I offer you a demonstration of just how far-reaching my eyes and ears are, will you at least tell me who your contender is? You mean besides Ingrath? <laughs> yes, besides him. No. I'll take the demonstration on the road if you'll agree to help me deal with a matter in your territory. In exchange of information and of favors. I get one of our rogues out of your hair and you hopefully keep me from doing something asinine on the way. I suppose I can agree to that. Alright. I'll lay my cards on the table first as a show of good faith. Yes. I know something about Ismir Kinawa that she may not even know about herself. I know, among other things, the potential she has to be either a uniting force in Skyrim, potentially Tamriel, or a force of destruction, the magnitude of which Nern hasn't witnessed in a very, very long time. I ideally hope she is as peaceful inside as she seems to be on the outside. I'd say she's leaning more toward unity than chaos. Get your gear and I'll tell you what she's been up to this last week or so. I certainly didn't expect you to show up. Who are they exactly? Well, this is Asburn. And Delphine. I'm a little concerned, actually. More so than I was to see you walk up with Ulfric and Galmar. Eh, don't worry about it. Now let's get going before Galmar throws a fit. <laughs> I hope you at least talked some sense into him. I hope so, too. Let me get that for you. Alright. Well, this is... interesting. So, uh... So. Arn gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this path. Were you? The hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. If it were up to you, the Dragonborn would sit dreaming on this mountain doing nothing. Hey. Delphi, we're not here to rehearse old grudges. The matter at hand is urgent. Aldwin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that Aldwin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Ah, uh, very well. You may enter. <coughs> so? You've done it. 
Men of violence are gathered here, in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Don't worry. I'll get them to agree to something. Hopefully peace. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Take your seat, and we can begin. Are you okay, Kinoa? You seem a little bit shaken. Yeah. I... I want there to be good in these people. I don't want to think that they're just... bloodthirsty killers. I... I understand that better than... Well, probably anybody. Now let's go before, again, Kalmar throws a fit. He's not exactly the most temperate individual. I got that impression. Are you... here with them? In the manner of speaking, I suppose. Oh. Why delay? Uh, please, take your seat so that we can begin. Of course. Thank you all for coming. We meet again, Ellen Wynn. Take your seat and we can begin. <sighs> Working on it. All right. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. This bodes well. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of- No. You insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. <sighs> here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Yuzmir's beard. Nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that we would sit down with that, thou more bitch. I say she walks, or we walk. Pardon me for laughing at the phrase Ismir's beard, but... You're right. The Thalmor don't have any business here. Lady Ellen Wynn, you may leave. I'm glad we agree on this. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. I bet you wouldn't. Ah, Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your Imperial friends here. Oh, shut up, Galmar. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legate, we represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I hope One so. One moment. Uh here we go. I just want to make clear that the only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. I have no authority to negotiate a permanent settlement, unless Ulfric is ready to sue for peace and turn himself over to Imperial Justice. Master Angir, We're are you going to, to just arrange let a him temporary continue truce to... to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. We consider even sitting down to talk with these rebels more than generous. Enough posturing, Tullius. If you came to talk, let's get on with it. Fine. Let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? 
I hope so. General Tullius, Jarl Ulfric, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Our terms are simple. Riften must be returned to Imperial control. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. By Talos, the stone's on this one. You're in no position to dictate terms to us, Tullius. That's quite an opening demand, Tullius. Ulfric, you can't be taking this demand seriously. We can hold Riften against anything the Empire can throw at it. Besides, your Mela will never we agree will do whatever to... I decide is in the best interests of Skyrim. Are we clear? Yes, my lord. Come on, Tullius. You can't seriously expect us to just hand over Riften at the negotiating table. You haven't been able to take it back yet. Why should we give it up now? I am sure General Tullius does not expect something for nothing. Of course not. What will you offer for Riften, Tullius? Some empty promises? Maybe some more Imperial bluster? Enough, Galmar. Jarl Ulfric, what would you want in return? First, let me be clear. The Sons of Skyrim know from bitter experience that talking to the Empire is a waste of time. Or worse, Imperial promises are simply a way to lull you while they prepare a dagger for your back. Aye. We haven't forgotten Markarth, Tullius. But I accept the Dragonborn's invitation to this council, and I at least will negotiate in good faith. The council was your idea, huh? So tell us, what do you think Riften is worth? <laughs> oh, um... I'm... I'm not sure. Yarnveda, what do you think? I think the Reach. Ulfric fought for it fair and square back in the Great War. He won it. With much bloodshed. You might as well get it back. Okay. I suppose I can agree to that. And besides, if... If you get the Reach, then you both have a southern flank open, right? Yes, with Mark Garth in our hands, we'll be able to raid the Imperial supply lines out of solitude. You heard what she said, Tullius. We've made you a fair offer. If you're really serious about this truce, you need to reconsider. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation to this council, despite your known association with the rebels. With Yarnvita, you mean. But it seems you have no intention of dealing fairly with me. <sighs> I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. You have no intention of coming to terms. You're here to blacken the Empire's name, and I won't be party to it. General. If you think you can hold Riften, you're as deluded as you've always been. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Headsman's Axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. General. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphine? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say other. before you do anything <laughs> rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the World Eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? Come on, Ulfric, you know he's right. I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the Dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know I can't agree to these terms. The Emperor would repudiate this treaty and I would be recalled. Shores, bones, where will these demands end? 
Out with it, then. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for this your butchery. This is our homeland, Tolius. All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? Frankly, I want to know what happened at Carthwaston. But... I can see no one's willing to talk about that. Do you need... No. I think Ulfric should compensate you for Carthwaston. Especially if he's going to be controlling that territory now. No more land is changing hands, I think that's more than fair. Well said. You may be fighting on the wrong side in this war. I'm not fighting for- For once you'll actually pay for your crimes. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Riften will be handed over to Imperial Control, Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. The Empire will withdraw its troops from the Reach, allowing Ulfric's forces unhindered access to Markarth. Jarl Igmund will go into exile, with Thongvor Silverblood taking his place as Jarl of Makarth. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Elisif? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. Ulfric! I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, <sighs> there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Now that the Empire has been driven from the Reach, we can put a stop to the raping of her silver mines. That silver belongs in Skyrim. Come on, Galmar. Hmm? We have a lot of work to do. This is quite an achievement, Dragonborn. And General Tullius. Riften is ours! Oh, that's interesting. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes. I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word. And my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all. Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the Library of Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. How does that help us? Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. Oh. By calling the dragon with the voice. He will hear you, wherever he might be. Why would he come when called? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon. After your victory over Alder, I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. So, what's this dragon's name, then? Ah. Indeed. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen, but it is written here, in this scroll. Oda Ving. Winged Snow Hunter, as I read it. Oda Ving. Okay. That'll work. 
So, there's one more thing. We know about Parthenax. You know... what about Parthenax? Parthenax. The dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. You would dishonor your oaths as blades? Well, in that case, the Dragonborn is no longer in need of your service. Let me leave, Delphine. Kinoa. We have nothing to talk about until Parthenax is dead. You've got that right. Get out of my sight, Delphine. Shores Bones, are you alright? I don't think I've ever seen you that angry before. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I don't think I've ever... Who does she think she is, anyway? Well, that was... interesting. Talia seems to think I was... on Ulfric's side. I think it's probably because I'm with you. Are you on Ulfric's side? I'm a Nord. I did walk in with them, after all. So the answer is yes, you're a Stormcloak. No. Not yet. But I have helped them. I suspect that's what General Thalias was referring to, if he knows. I have friends among the Stormcloaks. My son fought on Ulfric's side in the Great War. He died in Margarth. Oh. Which is why I'm here now. I'm glad you gave the reach to them. Yeah. Sorry. It's alright. I'm not angry with you. You seemed... You seemed angry. I was... I was prepared for you to start... shouting again. Why would I do that? You... Ugh. Never mind. I can see you've had a rough time of it. You're scared, you're stressed. There's a lot riding on your shoulders right now. Yeah, in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I just... I hope that this peace lasts. I hope I didn't just... end up being the cause of even more bloodshed. You look about a thousand leagues away. What's wrong? I'm... I'm worried about... Parthenax, I think. Speaking of which, where are the Greybeards keeping a dragon in this place? <laughs> He's not in the fortress. He's... I probably can't tell you that, actually. Suit yourself. So what are you gonna do now? You're gonna go back with Ulfric and Galmar? <laughs> no, I don't think I can stand any more of Galmar this week. 
I'm heading back to Whiterun. Right. If you can, would you prepare the town? As best you can? Since I'm going to be dropping a dragon in the middle of it? Well, on the edge of it, I suppose. Yeah, I can do that. Alright. Yeah, I'm... I'm terrified. You seem terrified, frankly. What do you mean you don't want to be the cause of any more bloodshed? As far as I know, you've been completely neutral in this whole thing. Yeah. I mean... I'm not... When I told you about my father before... Yeah? He was... an angry, spiteful, arrogant man. My mother was an angry, spiteful, arrogant woman. And I'm doing all that I can to avoid being an angry, spiteful, arrogant person. Though I... There seems to be some precedent for that. I... I feel as though I have a destiny to be somebody who's heartless and prone to bloodshed. And I don't want to be. Not anymore. Sorry. No, it's... It's alright. I know the feeling. Kind of. I'm a skull, you know. We are people prone to peace, and I felt like... I needed to fight for something. So here I am, I got my vengeance. I killed the Forsworn that were running Sid in the mine. I avenged my son's death. And now I don't really... Now I fight for people like you, so that you don't have to, but I realize that you're more than capable of fighting for yourself. That's why I was so angry when first we met. Because... I felt like fighting was the only way for me. And now that I've found Mordgood again, I... She's made me see some things differently. You've made me see some things differently as well, but... I am a stubborn Nord. When it comes right down to it, it'll take time for me to come around. You are a peaceful person, Kinoa. And I drink to your success. <laughs> I should probably drink something too, frankly. <laughs> I don't have any meat on me, but... Meat probably isn't the smartest option right now. I think... I think I need to go have a chat with a dragon before I fight a dragon. You do whatever you need to do, Dragonborn. I'll be in White Run if you need me. Thank you for... Thank you for not being an Imperial loving brick. <laughs> Frankly, having heard General Tullius and Ricca talking, I'm even more sure that I don't think either side is right. So, I'll see you in right White Run. I'll see you in White Run. Try not to freeze up there. Yeah, you too. Careful on your way down, 
I know that mountain is rough. <laughs> with any luck, I'll catch up with Elfric and Galmar at the bottom. We'll be going our separate ways, but... If I can overhear whatever they're planning, I'll make sure to tell you. I think I know quite well what they're planning. Take care, Yarnvita. You too, Kinoa. Oh, kind. Who am I? Good. Where's the next? Drem your lock. Greetings. The blades say that you deserve to die. The blades are wise not to trust me. Only Khan Miov. I would not trust another Dova. Why shouldn't they trust you? Dov Walan Farel. We were made to dominate. The will to power is in our blood. You feel it in yourself, do you not? I can be trusted. I know this, but they do not. Only Khan Niovdova. It is always wise to mistrust a Dova. I have overcome my nature only through meditation and long study of the way of the voice. No day goes by where I am not tempted to return to my inborn nature. Zimgrif Horvut, say Suliek. What is better, to be born good or to overcome your evil nature through great effort? Lok Thum. That's a very good point, Parthenax. That's a very, very good point. I would think it would be better to... Yeah. <laughs> what you said. Oh, Doving. That's right. His name was Numenex. The one who forgot. Right? Thank you for your wisdom, Parthenax. I needed to hear that. I think we're about as ready as a city as we're going to get. Are you ready? I don't think I'll ever be ready. You look ready. <laughs> I went to all this trouble to put on war paint and... Kain is with me, I guess. You have an interesting way of thinking of Kain, I think. You ever wish he would just shut up about Talos already? You have no idea. Alright.
This will be fun. Hello, oh, Earleth. Yarl Balgraf. We're ready, Dragonborn. Just say the word. Are you sure you're ready? As I promised, my men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. I'm ready. Let's go trap a dragon. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Oh boy. Don't worry. We've got Farkas, Vilkas, and Ayala on standby just in case. They may not look like much, but I'm sure they can take down a dragon. I hope they can take down a dragon. After you? You do have a plan for luring a dragon here, yeah? Oh yeah. Oh my. Uh, that's a dragon. We're ready when you are. I don't think that's the right one, but that was certainly a dragon. Go ahead and call this dragon of yours. We're ready. Okay. Kine, carry my voice. What? We're ready when you are. I'm ready whenever he wants to show up. I don't think it worked. Yeah, figures. Hear that? I do now. Let me just... Get ready, everyone. Holy... You might want to get back from the edge, Arnvita. No kidding. Come on, lure him in. Ah. Yeah, no kidding. Kind. Alright. Come get me, Odaving. Your thorn is no match for mine. What was that? <laughs> Come get me. In here, you big bastard. Careful, Yarnvita. <sighs> yeah. God damn. Need. Yes. I think it's holding. Ovuta mid Kodav. Caught like a bear in a trap. Zokfrini grin ko gra drun viki dovakin. Ah, I forget. You do not have the Dova speech. Not a lot of it. My eagerness to meet you in battle was my undoing, dovakin. I salute your mm, low cunning in devising such a gra min dol stratagem. <laughs> Onika Niov Dova. Zubonar. You went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this humiliating position. <laughs> in Sir Alduin, hmm? no doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. That's right. Where is he hiding? Renik Vaza, an apt phrase. Alduin Boval, 
One reason I came to your call was to test your Thuum for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his Thuum was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Mae, none were yet ready to openly defy him. Well, that's where I come in. You were telling me where to find him? Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. <laughs> he has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesure, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovngarde is at Skaldafen, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Mindoran pa ok midoven avarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zuulost ofan hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Not until Alduin is defeated. How about that? Ah, well... Hmm... Croesus. There is one... detail about Skaldafin I neglected to mention. Oh? Tell me what you know, then. Only this. You have the Thurm of Adova. But without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafin. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. <sighs> you expect me to take your word for that? It is wise not to trust Adova. Aran. You wound me, Dovahkiin. I may not tell the whole truth, but I am no liar. Go and see for yourself. Zu ni bo nor het. I will be here, unless Alduin returns before you do. <laughs> Is that dragon smiling? Incredible. Uh... Sir, you have no idea how long I have waited for such an opportunity. I would be most appreciative if you would permit me to perform some, uh, tests on you. Purely in the interests of the advancement of knowledge. Be gone, mage. Do not test my promise to the Dovahkiin. This can only end poorly. I no kidding. You will not even notice me. This is most why I don't trust mages. at all to a large dragon such as yourself. <laughs> Idea, even for you. Oh boy. Surely you wouldn't miss a few scales or a small amount of blood. To me, what are you doing back there? <laughs> Enough, fool. I'm glad that that part is stone. No kidding. Well. It looks to me like you have no choice. You have to set this thing free. Yeah, it does appear to be that way. I would have you come with me, but... I understand. I'll stay here and protect Whiterun. You do what you can. Alright? Yeah. Thanks. Here's hoping... Here's hoping I can come back. You know, I hadn't even considered that before now. Me neither. Next question. How do I let this... Ah. I don't actually know how to get up there. Do now. 
I can't believe that worked. <laughs> Neither can I. I can't believe I'm saying this, but open it. You sure about that? You want to let that dragon loose after all the trouble to catch him in there? It's the only way. Your funeral. Someone else is going to have to help you get him back in there again. <laughs> get ready to open the trap. Well, I am going to Sovngarde. Seems appropriate. This seems like a really bad idea to me. Carry on, soldier. This is all part of the Dragonborn's plan. I'm gonna shout you down if you go against your word, Odoving. All the gods. Was new. Dini dein Rufi asked why. Well, he's staying. I can't believe that actually worked. All right. Well. If I don't come back... Let's not think about that, huh? Yeah. Because if you don't come back, that means Alduin won. And that means the end of times really is upon us. Yeah. You'll come back, Dragonborn. I know you will. You've got the fire in your eyes. suppose I do. I'll be seeing you, Yarnvita. I'll be seeing you, Kinoa. Count on it. I'll watch over White Run while you're away. Try not to get in too much trouble. <laughs> All right. So we're doing this then. Saran Uth, I await your command as promised. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dova can? Yes. Let's go. Zuk Brit of. I warn you, once you've flown the skies of Kaisal, your envy of the Dove will only increase. <laughs> Amativ, mu bo kotin stinselok. The bravest person I've ever met, the biggest fool. May Kinneret guard you while you pass through her realm. 